From rising to fame after being stabbed in his childhood to his super controversial views about gender, here's the tragic life of Aiden Ross. The guy's been through a horrible childhood episode, let me tell you. In 2021, Ross sat down to have a chat with Adam Grand Mason, also known as Adam22, on the No Jumper podcast. The conversation steered towards the Twitch streamer's personal life, and he wasn't shy when it came to sharing the details. Ross recollected that back when he was 12, he was stabbed in his sleep by a mentally unstable family member. Aiden further explained that it was absolute crazy, and its effects manifested in about a week's time, where he gradually went from being completely numb and withdrawn to developing proper trauma. Adam was sensitive to pro further, but he did, asking if Aiden had any idea that that particular relative of his could do something so violent and crazy. To this, Ross admitted that he had no idea, only that they had struggles and were using multiple drugs. Ultimately, the said family member ended up going to jail, but was later transferred to a mental hospital. The episode had an effect on Ross's whole family. According to Aiden, the incident had a much deeper effect on his family than it ever did on him. His parents and siblings were in total disbelief, and he was so young and scared. The then 20-year-old streamer still had the scar to prove the whole thing. He rolled up his shirt sleeve, and there it was, a gash still showing about eight years on. Aiden remarked that he'd gotten nine stitches, but at the time, the adrenaline took care of it and prevented him from registering the extent of the harm. In fact, get this, he was the one who pulled the knife out of the wound and went straight to the hospital where the bleeding was stopped. For an event so traumatizing, the ending was simple. He got stitched up and that was that. Despite the trauma, Aiden's always been able to put it aside in order to achieve his goals in life. His viewpoint? It was a hurdle, sure, but he jumped over it and was clear that he wasn't going to let any of it get to him. I know that I'm never going to make that mistake again to ever try to put people on to something that's gonna flop, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's still people that are probably wanna rip my head off, but um, I can say, you know, one thing, if anybody that I know that watches my stream has ever bought that token. In his career, he's totally proved that he meant it. Ross is a YouTuber, gamer, and streamer. He's more widely known for his various collaborations with celebrities, and also streamed playing games such as Grand Theft Auto V and NBA 2K. Aiden's entry into the profession came when he began streaming regularly on Twitch, along with his sister Naomi Ross before moving over to the platform Kick in 2023. Things worked out in his favor when he joined the NBA 2K group called Always Excelling, and through that, he came into contact with LeBron James's son, Bronny. Ross's popularity got a boost as he started to play NBA 2K20 with him, while wagering the matches with other YouTubers and streamers. The duo must have gambled away thousands of dollars on 2K games, and all of this, of course, ended up going viral. In 2020, while the two pals were streaming together, guess who joined the chat? The L train himself, the legend LeBron James. It was later also uploaded to his Twitter page, which totally makes sense because who wouldn't repost that stuff? From then on, Ross's popularity snowballed. In November of 2020, Aiden was dissatisfied with NBA 2K21 and the people behind it. So, to do something about it, he started the Make 2K Fun Again hashtag on Twitter. It quickly must have spoken to the users because it climbed quickly to the number one spot and began trending worldwide. Right around that same time, Aiden came up with a another plan to reach his audience. He hosted e-date streams, where people would compete while trying to find a date on Discord. And y'all, the guy's Twitch account totally blew up. In 2021, Ross was revealed as the first creator in the Clout Gang 2.0 collective, and so he moved to the Wizza House, accompanied by Mike Milak, Rice Gum, Summer Rae, and FaZe Banks. Soon after that, Aiden was everywhere, from having a public FaceTime with Travis Scott to hosting multiple rappers on his streams. His daily live streams had rappers such as Sheck West, Blueface, YBN Almighty J, Lil TJ, Lil Tekka, and Lil Yachty. So after starting out in gaming, Aiden was able to pivot and find footing in the hip-hop world too. And the reason behind that popularity is straightforward. He had the views, and so he had his pick. Ross was getting a lot of attention suddenly. And so, if someone came on his stream, well, they'd be getting their face out there too. That's the point where a creator really flourishes, because finally, people began to take notice. And Aiden was no stranger to this phenomenon. As he told Adam22, he ate off it, but so did the people who joined him. You're getting a sign, you know, if you're in a toxic relationship, you're getting multiple signs that this person is not the one. 
leave that person. So I got multiple signs to be a streamer and I kept doing the signs. And there would be obstacles like, for example, my Twitch would get banned or I would get denied partnership, but that just means you gotta work harder. At the time, he talked about how his platform was a quick popularity booster, especially for rappers who had a single or a project schedule. The appearance served as the perfect promotion. Ross's contacts in the rapping world especially began with T Grizzly. He explained that T was a Twitch streamer too, so it was the platform that brought them together. It also introduced him to Lil Yachty when Aiden jumped into a chat with him during a stream. Later on, it was the buzz that got him more collaborators, but it was Aiden's vision that put it all together. And now, since in his business, being relevant is like oxygen, he's totally got the whole thing down. Ross's plan? Well-placed controversies. Bottom line is that these things have a tendency to read as attention-seeking tactics. Let me tell you what I'm talking about with an example. Around 2021, Ross made headlines by calling out Polo G on Instagram. He wrote that Polo G was so fine, right after trolling him with a freestyle. Polo G replied and told the YouTuber he really needed to stop playing because he was taking the joke way too far. Aiden milked the moment as much as he could and discussed the exchange on TikTok, called Polo G's brother, and even recorded an apology freestyle. This wasn't a one-off thing either. From the start, a big part of Aiden's persona was making jokes about being gay and uploading videos of himself being sus around the celebrity guests. Here's what it usually went like. Ross would make subtle comments about being gay and then would immediately backtrack. In fact, he'd go to great lengths to prove that it was a misunderstanding. What's worse was that he presented the idea that being gay was somehow suspect, which added to it being viewed as a stigma of sorts. I'll spare you the details because some of it got weirdly explicit, but you can always look up the guy's videos. Now, apart from this, Ross had other controversial interactions too, like the time when he asked a stranger to act black. On February 16, 2023, Aiden uploaded his first Omegle livestream VOD on his YouTube. It was a 34-minute video and showed Ross speaking to 18 strangers from all around the globe. At the 10 minutes and 48 seconds mark, he was talking to the ninth stranger and offered to pay him 100 bucks if he acted black. When the person denied it, Aiden doubled the offer, which was followed by the man dancing. Obviously, the viewers didn't like it. Ross, however, denied it all in future live streams. This wasn't the only time he came into the spotlight that month. He also accidentally streamed explicit content on Hick, which was caught by Jake Lucky, who tweeted about it. In return, he got a cryptic and threatening DM from Ross, which said that he should keep himself safe. The YouTuber has also uttered homophobic slurs on his platform too, even received a ban from Twitch for it. But that wasn't the last time he got into trouble for his controversial views. In February 2023, Ross came under a lot of fire because of his there are only two genders viewpoint. He posted his opinion on Twitter, but he also talked about it in one of his streams. After getting a Twitch ban the very same day though, he totally doubled down on his position. In April 2023, he ranted and criticized people who used various pronouns. It was outrageous when he said that his preferred pronouns were kill them. Yikes. Aiden further added that such people were making the world a horrible place, and he was only going to call everyone either a guy or a girl, whether they liked it or not. So, from his super old school and controversial views about gender to rising to fame after being stabbed in his childhood, that was the tragic life of Aiden Ross.